Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team, and the word of the day is grade A bullshit. A very fun to use word that you may have already seen me use a couple times uh, earlier on my Twitter and Facebook when I very first posted the links to these new mainstream reports who have just come out saying, very happily saying, that these mystery sonic attacks on U.S. diplomats, both in Cuba, China, and some other places, uh, you know, the, the stuff that we did multiple videos on last year, very big thing, uh, with people getting injured after hearing these strange, what they called like sonic pulses that would come through windows, thick walls, multiple floors, and uh, it would cause people to suffer. They had to evacuate some 20, 30 people out of the uh, U.S. Embassy in Cuba uh, with symptoms of vertigo, uh, not being able to hear, going temporarily blind, uh, having aneurysms, and a range of other just hearing, cognitive, visual, balance, sleep, and other issues. Uh, and so, you know, it was a mystery. And it even later came out through further reports that even to the U.S. Uh, government was still quote-unquote clueless about the creepy sonic attacks in China and Cuba. Well, now, out of nowhere, and I guess what better way for the disinformationists to start the new year without a puff piece like this, where they're basically saying that this entire incident, this event that spanned multiple countries thousands of miles away at different times could all be boiled down to crickets. That's right, crickets, as in the annoying bugs that jump around and pulse out those uh, annoying little chirping sounds. And they're actually being serious with this. And so that is why I used the word I used when I first tweeted about this, because I believe it is grade A bullshit. So reading from one of the multiple articles, they're all pretty much copies of a copy of a copy. All of the mainstream articles, but we'll go with this one here from Global News, which states, quote, Crickets, not sonic attacks, could be behind mysterious recording linked to Cuba diplomat illnesses. And just a side note here, uh, I've never heard of a cricket being able to give multiple people brain injuries. But hey, maybe there's something more we can learn from this uh, report here. It continues, The mysterious recording linked to dozens of reports of diplomat illnesses in Cuba may simply have been crickets. That's the hypothesis put forward by two researchers from the United States and England in a paper published last week that studied the sound waves produced by a mysterious recording of a high-pitched buzzing noise that officials have said is linked to illnesses that have stumped investigators for more than a year. And so apparently, at some point, uh, people had heard a strange chirping sound in one of the buildings and got it on record. He recorded it. And so that is what the U.S. has now had to go on, and, and I'm guessing is what they are now trying to use to whitewash this entire story and what, what is really going on uh, by calling it uh, crickets. Because I'm sure enough, as I'm about to find out, I'm sure it's, it's going to be a recording with things that sound like crickets, but I digress, let's move forward. It goes on to say, quote, The situation in Cuba has understandably led to a concern and anxiety, and the sonic attack hypothesis has gained widespread attention in the media. However, this paper shows that sounds like those in the AP recording have a natural explanation, saying that the sounds recorded by the U.S. personnel in Cuba correspond to the calling song of a specific cricket with echoes. And so before we go any further, let's just give a listen to this recording that somehow the U.S. government got a hold of, uh, alleged to be coming from one of these buildings where these people were we're hearing this wave and uh, getting all of these symptoms and brain injuries. So let's give it a listen. Okay, and there you have it. Uh, it's a literally five second long clip titled The Sound in Havana uh, and was uh, obtained. Uh, allegedly obtained by the Associated Press. 
and is said to be the recording of what some U.S. Embassy workers heard in Havana as they were attacked by what investigators initially believed was a sonic weapon. The recording of a high-pitched noise is one of many taken in Cuba since the attack started last year, but they have not significantly advanced U.S. knowledge about what is harming the diplomats. And uh, by the way, I'll post the SoundCloud link to this down below. You guys can check it out. But basically, they're saying that the, the, the recording here basically sounds like the, the mating call of a certain cricket. Um, now, whether there's a direct relationship between the sound and the physical damage suffered by the victims here, that's also very unclear. Because my question is, how is it that a cricket stuck in a wall is going to have the ability to cause internal brain damage, temporary blindness and deafness, cause people to pass out, cause people to almost lose their minds, and a number of other very crazy symptoms to where they're running out of the building, refusing to go back in. Look, I've grown up uh, in the country towns my whole life. I've been in the city, I've been in the country, and I've been around a number of crickets. Uh, I would go to sleep hearing them outside my window all night long for years. Never once did I exhibit any types of symptoms that these people are, uh, and nor, nor have I ever heard this, you know, a, a, a cricket causing so much damage thousands of miles away from, from where it first happened. First at Cuba, then China, then I believe there was one in, in, in uh, Istanbul, and uh, possibly even a fourth uh, location. All strangely enough, embassy workers or workers who are, who are doing work in collaboration with the embassy. It's all very strange how it's all these types of people with the same types of organizations who are being hit by this strange sonic attack. And that now apparently uh, the mainstream believes that you uh, are dumb enough to buy as a respectable answer. It's crickets. Okay, it's crickets, guys. You're dumb. It's crickets. We'll throw some mathematics and some cool-sounding science towards you that, that'll convince you how a cricket could uh, uh, nearly incapacitate a whole group of 20-plus people, and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll take it, and that's what we'll give you, and you'll be happy. At least that's what they're thinking. But uh, as I said in my very first post about this, and I think that this is a cover story, I think that some sort of sonic weapon is, has, and continues to be tested on these poor, <laughs> these, these guinea pigs who are now being told this line about these crickets, which it just, I, I honestly think with stories like this, it gets to the point where you think, do they really believe we're that dumb? I mean, it just blows my mind. Now, if you want to go back, and I'll post, uh, post some links down below where I talked in my original videos about this, about some of the different sonic wave technology that is being utilized right now, or that is being built. And we're talking some serious, heavy stuff, guys. Stuff that is used to disperse large crowds. Things that are made to use sound to inflict pain. Whatever was, ha whatever was hitting these people in these diplomatic buildings, it could have been coming from a satellite in space, for all we know. And when you think about it, it's actually genius to pick out these specific embassy workers, rather than just some regular Joe on the street. Because when you're in an embassy, you're in a very highly controlled building. You know who's in there. You, you know that you know normal people can't just walk in and out. You know that if something happens, you, you, there, there is a strict and rigorous debriefing that must go on. And it just allows them to do their little experiments and keep it all contained within these buildings where they already got government personnel in there who can take over, take control, can't get any outside doctors or people in there to figure out what's going on. So it's almost the perfect way to go about the testing of these sonic weapons or apparatuses doing it in people that are inside cages, just like you would do with mice in a lab. Put the mice in a cage that you control and do your tests. And that is the vibe I'm getting from this, and I am not buying that it's crickets. Even the people writing some of these reports here about this cricket narrative are saying, well, that still doesn't explain why the people were getting hurt, why they were going temporarily blind and deaf, why they couldn't speak. 
Why were they forgetting who they were? It's not crickets, folks. I can tell you that much now. I mean, that's just common sense from a a city slash country boy who grew up around crickets, knows what they do, knows what they sound like, and I guarantee you never once out on a fishing boat did I ever forget who I was or uh, spaz out and fall off into the water, never to be seen again. So, crazy stuff, guys. This one's got me a little heated up, but uh, we all know that we, every single one of us, every single one of you out there with headphones on or on your phone, everyone listening to this video, each and every one of you are a guinea pig. All right, let's not be naive here. I want you guys to read up on something called MK Ultra, which I'm sure many of you uh, have at least heard of. A lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about, and if you don't, well, MK Ultra was the code name for a secret government project that went on for years through the 60s, 70s, 80s, likely still going on today, although they claimed to have uh, disbanded it uh, in the late 80s. But basically, Project MK Ultra was a code name given to a program of experiments on human subjects that were designed and undertaken by the United States Central Intelligence Agency and which were all being done illegally. As in, the government would snatch unsuspecting people right off of the street. Whether it's some lady walking down to check her mail, or a guy hopping off his motorcycle to walk into the grocery store, snatch him up, snatch her up, and snatch up whoever else they wanted, illegally off the street, take them to some black site, keep them for sometimes weeks, months, or never to be seen again while they perform illegal testing. Whether that have been through mind control, drugs, and God knows what else they were doing to these poor people, but they would literally snatch them up off the street totally illegal before finally someone blew the whistle and they said that they had to disband it, although there are people today up in the know who say they never disbanded it. The experiments continue, and maybe that is something that my friend David Polites should look into uh, regarding the thousands upon thousands of mysterious disappearances all over the United States that happen each year with uh, people, women, men, and children never seen again, vanished off the face of the earth. It's some, it's, it's some crazy stuff, guys. So read into MK Ultra and the government's illegal uh, abductions and experiments on unsuspecting people, and you realize, back to cases like this that we're talking about today, that we are all just guinea pigs. It's just a matter of when our number will come up Uh, for them to aim one of their mysterious little constructs, uh, whether it be from a a back of a truck or somewhere floating in space, and aim it right at you and uh, let her rip and see what happens. You know, it's it's all about uh, who's next, whose number is going to come up next in this zoo, this guinea pig zoo inside of a lab where they're doing this testing. They've been doing it for years. Uh, So... Yeah, I I think I've said all I've said. Uh, I'll put some links below. You guys tell me what you think. First, the UFOs were nothing more than swamp gas, and now it appears the sonic weapons were nothing more than crickets. I might as well shut down the channel. I mean, the truth has finally come out. Disclosure is here. Bullshit.